Hey yo, welcome back to another episode of Azazi C5. My name is Mukudze Mlambo and we are back, baby. Uh, back like a caller, back like we never left, back like you owe me money and I need it right now. Right, so topic at hand today. I've decided to keep it short because we want to stick to the brand. The brand is us, if you know what I'm saying. So we decided to keep it short because I realized that you people don't watch anything that's above three minutes. So <laughs> without further ado, let's get straight to it. So one of the biggest topics of trending right now, or rather the big discussion point in Zimbabwean hip hop, has been concerning uh, Michael Maggs and his separation from Holy Ten and Samanyanga Sounds. Now the biggest uh, talking point from this discussion has been uh, can Michael Maggs fly on his own now I'll be the first to admit when this was announced um, I did I didn't think it'll get legs I didn't think that uh, he'll be one to stand on his own I didn't think it'll be much of a success as well and I'll be the first to admit where, where I'm wrong or rather my perception is changing uh, because I didn't think that it will be, be going this particular direction but uh, as, as I'm here I'm here to tell you I'm here to tell you Michael Maggs is here to stay. Now, can he fly? Absolutely. Can he stay on his own? Absolutely. Now, I'll tell you why uh, I was concerned at first. Because it seemed like, uh, unlike everyone else that had kind of gotten a Holy Ten core sign, um, he didn't really have like one standout record where he shines. Like, for example, with Saint Flo. Now, Saint Flo had been in Zimbabwean hip-hop for a long time. But you could point out the track that really put him on the map so when they did Gundamwenda, he really like sold and flew and you know he became his now he's his own superstar i wasn't really sure with that happening to michael max because i really couldn't point out to a song that i would say oh yeah 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 this is the one this is the one that'll work for him so after you know a lot of deliberation and i was like okay I think this kid i think this kid might have something i think he he might actually be okay man because the numbers speak for themselves let's talk about his strengths all right like what does he thrive in so he's a good vocalist he's a good composer and he's a good producer as well so he makes his own music so as far as being a complete artist goes he covers all those factors like it's it's, it's there it's done and he can do it right uh, what's the other thing that he can do well well he knows how to make a good sing-along template and which has always been something that you need to do very well in our culture uh, always try to make a song that you can picture people singing along to at a show and it's not something that has been done often uh, in our culture but Holy Ten thrives at this same flow thrives at this um, Vols JT does this very very well as well pro beats as well uh, K flow as well although he needs to like lower down a bit of his flow can be a little bit too fast but you get what i'm saying like he has the template of how to make a song that people can sing along to which is always always a big 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 plus another thing um another thing is well he has a unique voice and delivery like he knows how to deliver his his records right now i, I hear a lot of people say you know th there's been discussion that you know he sounds a little bit like Holy Ten. Sounds a little bit like Blink Four. I don't. I don't hear it. Maybe I need to train my ear. I don't hear it. I don't see it yet. Um, I think he thrives very well in his own lane because the Michael Max that I'm hearing now is the Michael Max that I was hearing when he dropped uh, Check Stuns. That's that's the time when I really was. I was paying attention. I was like, okay, this this guy is good, you know. So. I'm curious and I'm excited to see where he goes uh, with his journey, which is always something uh, to look forward to. Another thing, he's doing the numbers, okay? Now, I always say in Zimbabwean hip-hop, we are such a small demographic that if you do drop a song, if you drop a good song, right, and it averages 100K or so, that song will find you. And it's a good song. It's clearly a good song. So he's dropped Hondom Fungo, which is well over 100k right now uh he dropped a new chapter well over 100k uh he had a, 
a podcast episode with Ola Seven, well over 70k. So he's clearly doing the numbers organically and on his own. And I think it's gonna be fine. And it's it's a good time um, to buy Michael Mag's stocks. Okay, I think he's talented enough uh, to 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 stand on his own two feet. We've seen it, Bling Four doing it on his own, K Flow doing it on his own, Baga doing it on his own. Um, I think we are slowly creating a culture in Zimbabwean hip hop where you have artists. Um, who can blow up organically without needing an extra feature, without needing like a cosine or so to speak. So it's a good time and it's a good place to be. Now, given uh, Michael Max got his head start because he was affiliated with Holy Ten, but I think it's safe to say the kid is a star and the kid can fly on his own. And I will, I will also say one last thing, and I don't like this particular point, but I would like to say, you know, he's maximized the beef very well. Like, you know, the beef. I think he he's done it he's done it well he's managed to uh to capitalize the momentum that came from that from the breakup with some younger sounds and i'm really looking forward to the music um because you know one it's one thing to to to, to create beef or, or whatever to have beef and then just not make any good art uh, after that so let's not lie and say this kid is not talented he is all right let's not lie and say he cannot be a star he can be right the numbers are speaking for themselves he has people that are uh, aligning with it whether it's because they are anti-holy 10 or whether it's because people just want to hear um, what he's gonna do or see what he's gonna do um, after like post Samanyanga. it doesn't matter all i can say is that this kid is here to stay and that's it from me let's see what the culture has in store for us i've been moving to Imla, but this is visa five shoot catch you on the next one